Hi, I'm Daphne Richards and this is Augie. Our question this week comes from viewer Ramya, who's having some issues with a desert willow tree in her yard. Ramya writes that the tree was planted five years ago on the north side of her home where it gets plenty of light. It's been healthy until this year and has grown to over 20 feet tall. Ramya also explains that earlier this year, she amended the soil around the desert willow with some compost for the plants in the landscape growing near the tree. She's worried that this may have damaged the tree's roots since it's now struggling. This summer, for the first time, the tree did not flower and now over half the leaves and the smallest branches appear charred and black. Ramya also says that she's been watering the tree the same as usual, once a week. Well, Ramya, I'm really sorry that your tree's struggling, but I think there's time to save it. And your situation perfectly illustrates how important weather and climate are in our landscapes and how easy it is to get off track with gardening habits, especially when it comes to irrigation. When you planted this tree, we were in the worst period of a devastating drought, so once a week watering was great, as you got the tree established and accustomed to its new home. At that time, there was no rain in sight and it was crazy hot out, but then the rains returned with gusto. Desert willow is a true xeric species and needs very little rainfall to thrive. Its natural habitat is in areas with very well-drained sandy soil, which is not common in Central Texas. So the first thing to do is to stop watering your tree. Next, if you have other plants near the tree, you'll need to move them unless they have the same very low water requirements of your desert willow and can survive without irrigation. And lastly, go ahead and prune out any dead or struggling branches and shape the tree back to a healthy habit. The charred look that you've described is likely due to fungal spores, so be sure to rake up and toss those branches and any leaf litter out by the curb for recycling. Your tree may look a bit bare and struggle for a while, but if the soil can dry out, the tree should recover with time. Our plant this week is lacy oak, native to western areas of central Texas where rocky limestone outcroppings are common. This deciduous tree is known to be capable of growing to 60 feet tall in ideal conditions, but in most landscapes, it should top out closer to half that and equally as wide, about 30 by 30. Listed as a small to medium height tree, lacy oak grows very slowly, even by oak standards. The one in our demonstration garden is only about 12 feet tall after almost two decades. While some people may be impatient with its pace, this slow growth brings with it a blessing much less pruning is needed to keep the tree a healthy shape. Because of their short stature, lacy oaks are a great choice for smaller landscapes more common in urban environments. Although it can take a bit of shade, lacy oak will do best in full sun and should be watered sparingly once established, which usually takes about two years. As with most established trees, a good deep soaking once a month during the hottest, driest time should be sufficient. Fertilizer isn't necessary and may actually do more harm than good, so let this native tree grow and establish itself at its own pace. Our viewer picks this week are from Adrian Rodriguez and Tug Letterman of gorgeous Eastern Black Swallowtail Butterflies. We'd love to hear from you, so please visit us at krlu.org to send us questions and photos from your garden. Mm -hmm.